the concept of recess before lunch, it's a concept that's very rare. From what I understand, only like 5% of all the schools in the nation do this. But it's time to change. In the Let's Move Active Schools inventory, it tells us there's a lot of benefits for having recess before lunch. And today is the first time here at Pettis Elementary that this school is willing to try that. And I appreciate that because it's not only about the student health, but it also goes back to our IB program. And in IB program, one of the concepts is open-minded. So this school is being open-minded by taking that challenge. One of the things we were recognized as an active school, Let's Move, and we were very excited about that. And one of the things that we did was we took an inventory to kind of see where we were on the health meter, if you will. And one of the questions that it asked was, do we have recess before lunch? So that kind of threw me off and I wondered, hmm, why would we have research for lunch? Right after that, Mario Reina and his team came and did a presentation to the principals, so I was very intrigued. And so I began to do my own research. And you know, as an IB school, I'm always willing to be a risk taker. So I said, you know, we've got the month of May, let's see what happens. As I moved forward and really looked at the scheduling of how could we accommodate allowing the kids to play first and then come and eat, I sat down for a while and I really looked at it strategically and it, it worked. It actually, I think, worked better than it had been before.